Hey everyone, it's Miss Siddiqui here. So, as you already know, the novella that we are reading of Mice and Men takes place during the Great Depression. Through our Great American Dream debate series, I want you to understand the links between the Great Depression and what we are currently going through, which is called the Great Recession. I think this will help you to better understand the experience of migrant workers like Lenny and George. So first of all, what is a recession? You've probably heard this word thrown around a lot in the past couple of years, starting in 2008. So, in economics, a recession is a big business cycle contraction, or a general slowdown in economic activity. So during recessions, production of goods, employment, investment spending, and household incomes and business profits all fall down. And bankruptcy and unemployment rates are on the rise. So, the recession that began in 2008 had four major causes. The housing bubble burst, the subprime mortgage fiasco, the sky-high price of crude oil and refined product, and dollar devaluation. Let's talk about these four things. So, the housing bubble burst. So in the U.S., a boom in the housing sector was driving the economy to a new level in the mid-2000s. During this time, home loans became cheap and demand for homes increased. Lending institutions and mortgage firms wanted to give loans to as many customers as possible. Everybody wanted to purchase homes and everybody wanted to get into this market. During this time, people who are under the... Um, no income and no asset category were even giving house, given housing loans, and this wasn't typical. So this led to the overbuilding of houses, which led to a decline in prices, and refinancing homes became difficult. So as prices declined, more homeowners were at risk of default and foreclosure, and because many of those home buyers um, did not have good credit and did not actually have the money to repay back those loans, the bubble burst. So this is related to the subprime mortgage fiasco. So during this um, housing bubble, there was continual monetary inflation, which basically sucked individuals who couldn't afford homes into low down payments and low interest adjustable mortgages, and then they couldn't pay for them. And so the incentive to get involved with um, the housing market at the time was to be able to sell the property quickly and buy it for cheap. Um, but various institutions that hold the poorly performing debt obligations were then forced to write down the value of those assets, and that led to falling prices and higher insurance costs and restricted credit were prevalent. Another thing that contributed to the recession was the sky-high price of crude oil and refined product. This can be attributed to a couple of things. Um, first of all, there were worldwide speculative fears of war in the Middle East. Um, there is an increased demand for crude oil, especially in China. There are increasing energy prices. And then there is the high cost of production for crude oil that occurred in 2008. So the last cause we'll talk about is dollar devaluation. So this was um, caused kind of by the Iraq blunder when the Federal Reserve generated an oversupply of dollars. So of course the dollar would devaluate. And then moreover, connected to the previous cause, um, the bulk of crude oil purchases take place in dollars so we could get less oil for more money. And also during this time, um, because costs were so high, investments such as U.S. Treasury bills and bonds become less attractive, so less people are investing. So let's talk about the context that Lenny and George were facing, which is the Great Depression. So the Great Depression um, is when the American economy went from the unprecedented, prosper unprecedented prosperity of the 1920s to the unprecedented misery of the 1930s. So first of all, what is a depression? A depression is a sustained long-term downturn in economic activity in one or more economies. So in this case, um, the Great Depression both was in the world and the US. So a depression is considered by some economists to be a rare and extreme form of recession. Some people argue that we have yet to see the recession turn into a depression, but in the next few years we will see it happen. 
Um, so depression is characterized by abnormally large increases in unemployment um, and a fall in the availability of credit and a large number of bankruptcies. A depression also has price deflation um, and also uh, financial crises which are called bank failures. So we're going to talk about some causes of the Great Depression. Um, some people mark Black Tuesday as the start of the Great Depression, but um, it, there were actually several more factors involved, um, including bank failures, reduction in purchasing across the board, um, American economic policy with Europe, and then the drought conditions of the Dust Bowl. So the start, stock market crash of 1929, or Black Tuesday, was October 29, 1929. This is when the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped over 12%. So the Dow Jones Industrial Average basically tells you, um, the, the major companies um, in the stock market, what, how do they perform that day. And so after 1929 and after Black Tuesday, where the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 12 percent, the stock market declined 89 percent over the next three years. Um, so Black Tuesday resulted in the mask panic selling of stocks which caused prices to plummet and during um, the depression stockholders lost more than 40 billion dollars which in the 1930s was very significant as it is still very significant today. So by the end of 1930 America truly entered what is called the Great Depression. So bank failures. Throughout the 1930s, over 9,000 banks in this country failed. People who had their life savings in the banks lost their money. So part of this led to a reduction in purchasing. So individuals from all different classes stopped buying things in the economy, which led to reduced production if there's less demand from people buying, which led to then a reduction in the workforce. So unemployment became very high, on top of which when you are unemployed you are unable to pay installments for your items or for your homes and so then those become repossessed as well. During the depression unemployment rates rose above 25 percent. Another factor in the Great Depression was the current American economic policy. In 1930, the government created the Smoot-Hawley Tariff, which charged a high tax for imports, thereby leading to less trade between America and foreign countries. Moreover, America was facing drought conditions from down in Texas all the way up to North Dakota in the middle parts of the country. Um, so these drought conditions resulted in farms that couldn't produce crops or goods, and so people couldn't even pay their taxes or other debts, and then they were forced to sell their pro farms for no profit to themselves. And these drought conditions were nicknamed the Dust Bowl. So everybody in this unit is going to learn about both the Great Depression and the Great Recession. However, the debate group will be responsible for teaching you more about both of these events. So let's talk about some arguments for both sides that everybody can know. So what might make the Depression worse? Well, economically, let's look at the numbers. The Great Depression had higher bank failures, 50% of banks, versus the Great Recession, 0.6% of banks. The unemployment rate was higher in the Great Depression at 25%, and only at 8.5% during the Great Recession. There was bigger economic decline during the Great Depression from 1929 to 1933 of negative 26.5%, but the Great Recession only had an economic decline of negative 4.1% from 2007 to 2009. Moreover, the Dow Jones Industrial Average plummeted 89.2% in the Great Depression and plummeted 53.8% during the Great Recession from 2009 to 2000, 2007 to 2009. However, some people would argue that though the recession ended in 2009, in the last six years we have been facing a lot of difficulties as a result of the recession and that we have yet to see the power that the recession is going to have and the negative downturn that it could have for the nation. So here's some, those were some arguments for the Great Depression. Let's talk about some arguments for the recession. What might make the recession worse? First of all, in the Depression, the 19, in 1929, the U.S. dollar was backed by gold. Now it's pretty much backed by faith. 
Also, there were no credit cards in the Depression, and there were no home equity loans. Moreover, in the Depression, large companies recovered and survived without government bailout, like we had in the Recession, which many people were very upset about. Also, there was no $40 billion trade imbalance every month that the nation was facing. In the Depression, Americans were not facing the high price of oil. Americans were also not facing the unprecedented cost of higher education, which will have a huge impact on generations to come. And they were not facing the biggest income inequality gap in our nation's history. That's that top 1% we keep hearing about. And during the Depression, Americans were not facing high taxes and ballooning state deficits, which are causing cuts to important social and educational programs. So, you decide. What do you think? The Great Depression or the Great Recession? Either way, everybody in the class is responsible for understanding these two significant events in our nation's history and seeing connections between them and Of Mice and Men. Thanks for watching!